Hello everybody and welcome to Half-Life Uplink. My name is OXFU and well it's been a, it's it's still going to be a little while until I get the next Metal Gear Solid 2 update out there and it's been a while since I did the original Half-Life. And I'm not yet ready to move on to the next quote the next real game in the series which is Half-Life Opposing Force. I still have a few things to work out. So what I thought I'd do in the meantime because it's very short is I will show you guys Half-Life Uplink, which is it's it's its status as a canon game is a canon part of the Half-Life universe is debatable. You can argue that oh, because Valve made it as opposed to Opposing Force or Blue Shift, where it's Gearbox that made it. Oh yeah, of course it's of course it's canon, and it was released as a demo, not like Half-Life Day One, which consisted of about the first fifth of the original Half-Life game and was a straight up demo. Uh, instead, it consists of part of the game leading up to Lambda, the Lambda reactor that was actually cut and released later as another demo. And because of that, actually, not a lot of people know about it. I actually only found out about it a couple of weeks ago. And as you'll see in just a second, I'm going to skip the training room because it is essentially the same as Half-Life 1. There are a couple... A couple small differences that most people won't notice, like the HEV suit charger is in a different place, the lights, when they tell you about the flashlight, they don't go off right away, stuff like that. But we're just going to start off. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system. Again, we're Gordon Freeman. We're back in Black Mesa. Except this time... It's 48 hours after the events of Half-Life 1, which is why this is sort of considered a canon game. <laughs> this playthrough will be in two parts because it is very short. Oh man, already right, got things going to hell. <laughs> like I said, this game is very much a demo, so we're going to be seeing a lot of scripted events just like all those explosions showing you, oh look! All these things are happening around you, trying to trick you into thinking it's so dynamic. But those doors will not open until we send the all clear. So send it already. I would love to do that, but the aerial bombardment has made a wreck of my transmitter. The cables are severed. We'd have to aim it by hand, and I'm getting high radiation levels in the transmitter dome. Nobody but a fool would go in there. I'm a fool. Let me go in. Yeah. You could survive in that suit of yours. Very well. I will lower security on the satellite access elevator, and you can go up into the dome. I'll try to help you over the intercom. By the way, uh, I will be including a link in the description on how you can install this on Steam. You just need the original Half-Life, not Half-Life Source, by the way, because it will not work with that. Have the original Half-Life installed, play it once, uh, follow the links that I include in the description below, and you can play this as well! Again, unless you're really a fan, it's not really worth it, because there's not a lot to show, but I think it's cool, so. Actually, I wonder. Okay, why not? Didn't want to die alone anyway. No, you can't get him to follow you into the elevator. Because he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay and protect the doctor, but I'm like, I'm a doctor, protect me. You also notice that it's using the high-definition texture packs that uh, Gearbox released for Half-Life Opposing Force and Blue Shift, as opposed to like the textures in Half-Life Source. Also, I like that they have the, the bugs already in this version, complete with AI, rather than just scattering randomly. An interesting thing, <laughs> you break open this pop, pop thing, yeah, I want tons of soda. It just has a lot. It just has a more detailed animation for what happens. That's all. I don't know. I think I think it's the little details that are that are cool again, because you'll never see this in the original Half-Life games. Of course, they're gonna show you right away, like oh, combat, combat with guards. They're gonna help you out. Well, you're glad I got this old sidearm on me, aren't you? Well, a little bit, but you're probably gonna shoot me later. 
course, we're going to get our side arm, side, side arm as well. A lot of what's going to happen in this game, there's not going to be very much... Uh, there's not going to be very much ceremony as to what happens. Look, we got a head crab munching on a on a scientist, but we also got a we also got a gas canister. So of course we're going to do that. Again, just showing like what this game can do at this point. Oh God, it's a zombie! Shoot the shoot the mines. Unfortunately, I forgot that the mines are actually a lot more powerful in this version. <laughs> no, it's a it's again another scripted sequence. Which kind of get annoying in this version sometimes, but more of that later. Ooh, let's bring the uh, let's bring the guard with us. He can help us out a little. Forgot that he doesn't automatically follow you, even though he's kind of helpful. Oh no, the army already! Oh well, it is 48 hours afterwards, but I thought they would have been taken care of. Fairly easy to take care of right now, because they're more concerned with just running around. Yes, Quick, let's go! No, you bastard! You shut the door on us! So far as I know, there's no way to beat them to the panel. And keep them from keeping us out, but it's no big deal. Part of uplink being a demo and actually being cut from the game it actually feels almost more like a very late tech demo than ha like half-life day one feels like a demo just because you have a lot of you, you just have a lot of things that are happening that are very scripted and but just to show you how much of a demo it actually is if we come over here no outside areas either Oh god, we're being bombarded. I I realize there are a lot of scripted events in the original Half-Life as well. It's just that they're never packed so tightly in such a small space as this. And that's kind of part of the demo. Part of the demo. But there's some weird things with soldier AI as well. Like sometimes they they'll see you, but they won't attack you because you haven't moved past a certain point yet, which honestly is kind of old at this point. All right, so let's we're gonna do a uh, crouch jump through here, right? Oh God, no! <laughs> I have died on this part more times than I would care to admit. So I'm gonna quick save. Ah! <laughs> this is one of the parts of the the tech demo that I actually do have a couple of problems with. Is that it can actually get. Quite difficult at points. Not terribly difficult, I mean you can still beat everything, it's just it's a demo, so whoops. It's people much more familiar with the game than I am, going through it, showing off showing off the stuff. Ow! Oh, keep missing that. <laughs> Okay, last time's a charm. Ah! Oh, screw it. I'm gonna lose more health doing this than than otherwise. All right. Couldn't be anything bad down here, right? Oh god! Now, this is one of the parts that I really do have a problem with because this is essentially a gauntlet at this point. Oh god! Gotta get out there, lure him out. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the soldiers to actually come out and chase after you. There's an event that ha is supposed to happen here, but sometimes... Yeah, there you go. We have, we're supposed to have soldiers show up. Sometimes they give you a couple of issues, though. I, I don't really understand why. So I'm just gonna run forward, run back, hope I make it. Oh, God. There we go. That's much more like it. Nope. Did we not? Oh, you know what? That's actually a guy that's off to the side, so. There he is, however. This guy right here, which we need to take care of. Still drop grenades like they will in the main game. You know, nothing terribly special. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to go back to an earlier save right now. Anyway, I'm going to return to this earlier save because 
it'll actually let me save some of my health rather than showing off like, oh, you can run in front of the rocket launcher and stupid stuff like that. Or try to get over to that area that just has a couple of grenades, so just give me a second. The mouse is actually really weird in this game, too, sometimes. Getting a bit of choppy gameplay, I don't know why. But, like, you actually have to turn up the mouse quite a bit just to get smooth... smooth a smooth mouse working. There we go. There we go! That's the event I was looking for. There we go. Because they're all supposed to charge out at you. The AI, is not, the AI is not what it will be, because most of these people are just going to stand around until they're triggered, but it's an interesting look at the evolution, I guess. More than anything else. I think I might have triggered, actually, another event that's not supposed to happen for a while. We'll see. Again, I don't know how people would have gone through this originally, so there's plenty of ways to go through and screw things up. Because, of course, they would have had a, a set script for how they wanted to show this off. Just using a pistol because it's more accurate. I actually have a lot of trouble getting past that guy, usually. I actually like some of the some of the visual appeal of this level more than the end game because you go through here and you got like a little staging area set up by the soldiers, you got flames over here, you come up and you're like, oh, what's going on? They've dug in with their shovels and you just see burning vortigaunt bodies in this this pit dug in the ground. It's kind of it's kind of creepy and unsettling. But we'll see more about that in a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna run through here and well, what do you know? They're all distracted setting up TNT. Let's... <laughs> Just take him out while we can. Oh, that's not good. That TNT's actually supposed to blow up. Oh well, not a big deal. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys next time as we finish up, ha ha up Half-Life Uplink because we're about halfway through. Wait a minute and I'll let you in. So, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing this lull in, in the game right now because we're going to have some, th some exciting things happening in a little bit. So, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. This has been me, Oxfoo.